Hey folks, welcome to the QLens vlog. In my last post, I mentioned you can easily automate email reading scenarios using a tool called as a mail catcher. I got lot of responses to record a demo of how actually we can do it. And today I am going to show it with a recorded demo of how we can do it actually in actual real looking like a project. So I have created a dummy application to demonstrate this. So without any further delay, I will jump to the demo. So I have created a dummy application. I am showing the dummy application. It is running on localhost 3000. This is a dummy application. This dummy application is made for a typical sign up scenario where you sign up based on OTP. So in this case, what I am going to do is I am going to put my name, first name, my last name and my email address. So I will say ATMNK 91285 at the rate gmail.com. Now once I submit, it said like the OTP has been sent on the email and you need to enter the OTP. So if I check my email, there is OTP for registration, which I have got. And once I submit this OTP, it says your registration is successful. Very simple scenario to test manually. But when we automate it, we generally struggle how to read emails, like whether we are going to automate the Gmail screens and read the emails and all. But we can very well automate these scenarios using well mail catcher with the technique called as a dependency injection. So now I am going to show you how to do it. So first thing first is we need to inject the dependency of a mail catcher. So mail catcher is a tool which can catch a mail which is sent to it. <coughs> Typically when so if we look at the source code of this application, how this application is sending email. Let's see this application is sending email using a node mailer library which has a create transport method and to this create transport method we are passing SM SMTP details. So this is the dependency of SMTP details that we want to that we want to inject of the mail catcher. So what we have done is like in case of production application we have in env.prod which is this file and I have created a sample file as well for production dependency. So here SMTP details are nothing but host is one nothing but your email sending server, port of your email sending ser server and authorization part of your email sending server. So when we want to test things with a mail catcher, we need to change this detail, change this environment to something for a localized environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this SMTP details to point to the host called as a local host. I will point it to the port 9001. I'll mark it as not secure because on local on this 9001 port, we are not going to have TLS and TLS reject unauthorized as false. This is the only change that we need to do into the environment variables of the application when we are running this application locally. So now instead of running this application in production mode what i am going to run, going to do is i am going to run this application in localized mode but before that since mail catcher is the dependency for this application i'll need to start mail catcher so i am going to show you mail catcher tool is by the way already installed on my machine so i am going to show you how to start the mail catcher i'll increase the font so uh, we have a command called as a mail catcher. We can provide it IP. I generally provide 0.0.0.0 as a IP so that it listens on every possible IP possible on the local host. I have provided SMTP port as 9001 and I'm going to run it on foreground. By default mail catcher runs as a daemon service but we can run it as a foreground service. So using this command I have started the mail catcher. Now, what you see over here is mail catcher is listening on two ports. One is 1080 and other is 9001. So 9001 is a SMTP port and 1080 is a HTTP port. 
let's see what we can see on 10084 so you see a nice ui for mail catcher as well so there like any inboxes or anything mail catcher also provides a nice ui where you can actually view these emails now let's do the same scenario again manually which we did last time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to again sign up i'm going to again sign up so first i will need to start the application in local mode now application has started now i'm going to again sign up Maram, last name, Nai. now i can put any email that's the beauty of mail catcher i can put any email and it can capture that mail be it on a G gmail domain or any domain and once i submit it still said like it succeeded the otp has been sent it said now let's see mail catcher ui on mail catcher ui we can see there is this row added and this is nothing but the otp that we received on the mail catcher <coughs> we can put that otp into the application and application will still work fine and it succeeded the registration now going back to the mail catcher apis so mail catcher not just only provides ui it also provides api so let's see what apis mail catcher offer so mail catcher is anyway exposing us http based data on on 10084 there is a messages endpoint in mail catcher once i hit this messages endpoint you can see i got whatever messages we have received on mail catcher in the form of json string json data so i can lint this data I, I i generally use json lint tool to look it as a formatted data so now we can see this data as formatted i can see id of the mail sender of the mail recipient of the mail subject of the mail size of the mail and what time the mail was created at this is the only data which mail catcher exposes on its least endpoint messages is a least endpoint over there if you want to know further details about this message then we can very well hit this endpoint with message id one is a message id and dot json is a extension for this endpoint so once i hit one dot json i get a complete detail of this message in json format so i will again open json lint i'll see what details it has given me it has given me again id sender recipient subject size type this is text html created at what time it was created at and in formats we see source as a html so generally mails are of two types either they are plain text emails or html emails so it says that this mail is of html format and then attachments as well now if you want to see the contents of the email we just need to put instead of json whatever is the format into this endpoint so if i say one dot html i just get the contents of the email in the html format so these endpoints mail catcher provides so now we can leverage these endpoints for automating our test application now let's see how to automate all of these using mail catcher so i have pre-recorded automation that i am going to open for this scenario <coughs> So we have automation test case written for this mail catcher and this scenario. We have typical folder structure. We have test uh, test uh, folder in our uh, uh, Java project. Uh, this project is being managed by Gradle. Gradle is a dependency manager. We have certain we have certain um, dependencies added into our project. Jackson Databind is one of the dependency. Rest Assured is a dependency. Selenium is a dependency. Melasur is a dependency. We will talk about Melasur later. JUnit is a dependency. Now I will talk about all of these dependencies in detail. So first thing first is for writing any test, we need a test management tool. So that's why we chose I chose JUnit because uh, it comes pre-bundled with any Java application that you create by the wizard. So I created this project by the in, uh, wizard provided by IntelliJ and it, it came pre-bundled with the application. So JUnit is test management tool that we used. We used Selenium because we want to automate UI scenarios. So Selenium is go-to tool generally for any newbie running any automation or something. That's why we use Selenium. Why we use rest assured I am going to talk later and why we use Jackson data bind I am going to talk later. But let's first see how the test looks like. 
so the name of the test is successful registration and typical page object scenario we have a sign up page we are launching that page using driver object so driver object is created in before each method driver chrome driver we are launching this driver object using driver and we are saying sign up with this name atmaram last name nike and email id is whatever email id we have over here for uh, manually testing it i provided any email id but for testing it with automation i need a consistent email id so that's why i have hard coded this email id into the automation uh, in environment files i provide otp and submit so here is the main crux of this automation we have otp reader which is initialized by otp reader dot get and we have get latest otp as a method in that otp reader now we will see like what this otp reader do, does so otp reader is nothing but an interface and we have implemented it in the form of interface so that we can read by various methods the otp on local environment we want to read otp using mail catcher on other environments we may, may want to read this otp using some other mechanism for example mailasurus is one of the service one of the paid service where you can actually grab production uh, like otps or production like email so if you provide emails with the mailasurus extension all those mails will be trapped in the mailasurus servers and mailasurus so servers gives libraries to read those otp we will see that later but just remember for the sake of simplicity that we are having get environment otp reader and this otp reader if it is a mail catcher if this otp reader is a mail catcher then it is in initiating this get method with otp reader as known as mail catcher otp reader otherwise it will initiate it with mailasurus otp reader so you will see in this automation suit we have an environment file i will i will demonstrate a sample environment file where we have mail catcher url so same the same url which we use locally for uh, squaring the api we have that url we have otp reader like which otp reader we want to use so for example if you want to use mail catcher as a otp reader we can use mail catcher if you want to use mailasurus otp leader, uh, reader we can use mailasurus otp reader now going to actual implementation of how this get otp looks like so this get otp is an abstract method in an interface and this mail catcher otp reader implements this interface so in this inter in this implementation we have defined all the way how to read this otp so let's see how how this code is written let's just read this code so we see that we have used rest assured api but you can use any http client to actually query apis we have used given mail catcher apis so mail catcher api is a given base url mail catcher url so whatever mail catcher url is over here we are reading those mail catcher urls given that we have those mail catcher urls given that we have those mail catcher urls we are sending a get request on messages endpoint as a first thing and we are extracting body out of that message as a response and we are getting it as a list of message summary so message summary is simply a pojo object where whatever details we saw the messages endpoint was providing it, these are the same details in encapsulated as a object encapsulated as a class object object of a class in this implementation so once we hit this endpoint we will get list of messages like all the messages what we want is a message that has been there into that mail catcher's data after the start time of this execution right so we have a static variable known as start date time which is nothing but new date so we are filtering those messages over here so we see here filtered message is a variable that we have created where we are getting the messages in the form of stream we are filtering those messages created at after start date time and we are comparing created at we are sorting these messages and we are getting it the first message so reduce a b b is just giving us the first message so these statements are just giving us the first message this statement is giving us sorted message 
and this statement is filtering the message based on created ad so we got the first message now we want the format of that message whether it is html or whether it is a plain text so we are querying the same json endpoint that we saw in this last uh, last demonstration when i was demonstrating manually the api so we are querying messages percentage json where percentage percent is is nothing but filter message dot id so this is nothing but calling messages one dot json and then we are getting body of it and then we are querying a json path format so we saw uh, in this uh, mail catcher apis right like when we have json structure we have source we have this key called as formats under this formats we have array where the first element is the format of this message so we are querying that format using json path over here once we got the content format we are calling that particular format endpoint so we are nothing but calling one over here what we are just doing is one dot html so both this percentage percentage will be replaced by first first percentage will be replaced by id second percentage will be replaced by content format once we got the content we we got what we want we got what what where we needed to search the otp the next steps are really simple we are using simple regex where we are searching for the digits in the application one or more digits so we have compiled a pattern called as slash slash d plus and we have a matcher we are finding while we we get the match we are finding we are looking for the group and if the length is six digits we are just uh, returning at it as a otp that we got so this is the simplest implementation let's just run this test let's see so now test is being run uh, chrome has been launched uh, it was so fast like because mail catcher apis are running on your local machine and reading the mail was very fast reading this api endpoint was very fast because it was running locally you might wonder like this this is fine like we can use mail catcher on local machines uh, when we are running localized tests we can use mail catcher but what on the deployed environments you can very well run mail catcher as a service in your cloud mail catchers gives you a docker container as well so you can get that docker container you can run it as a pod in a kubernetes cluster or you can run it as a service in your ec2 instance or virtual machine and you can provide the address of that particular instance into your uh, test infrastructures dependency so whatever dependency we saw over here in this uh, environment.local in environment.prod we can give those ips for mail catcher servers so that is one way of sorting it on test environments but you will wonder like how we we should do it on production environment on production environment you won't have test servers right so in case of production environment we can still read otps using some some paid services like melasurus so we i have implemented a melasurus implementation as well so it gives you the similar stuff that mail catcher provides but in case of melasurus what happens is like melasurus traps the email which are sent to its address like its domain so that's why over here if you see in this test i have affix prefix the email address with the server domain of melasurus otp reader so that is how you can track emails in different environments i hope this was helpful for you thanks for watching this demo and if you find this helpful please give it like please share it and let help others as well